G'day guys, i uh, going to do a teardown of the new Legend 3 camera that was sent to me as a sample unit. As you can see there, the uh, back door is taped on. It's uh, So just keep that in mind, it, this is a sample, it's not the production. So I just wanted to give everyone a bit of a look inside the camera and you know, g give you a bit of an idea of, of what's involved to take it apart, uh, especially you know, if you need to focus the lens. Uh, you just want to be really careful here where that wire is on the on the case there. Now I see we've got some a ribbon connector held on with tape. I needed to remove that, and there's uh, two little screws here. So be careful of those. If you try and pull your board out without getting these two little screws, it's probably not good. So out it comes, and we've got the umbrella A12, some random. Uh, bloody flash and off pops the daughter board with those little connectors uh, we've got Wi-Fi chip uh, connectors SD cards on there and uh, microphone and audio I see up here and back together again <laughs> alrighty I've probably sped this up way too fast I'm rushing who cares Oh yeah, there's a little microphone um, vibration isolation, I guess. Also noted that it there is no RF shielding really. Um, well, there's you know there's a little plate there at the at the back, but that's more to support the battery. As far as the chipsets are concerned, there is no uh, RF shielding, so um, hopefully they get some tape or something in there. Alrighty, so now we're together. I'm going to cut off to some footage I took uh, late one afternoon. It's been pissing down rain lately and uh, I got one chance to fly. It was really low light, so I mean, we'll call it the low light test. So, we'll cut to that now. Um, so I've got the session down bottom and the Legend 3 up up top. If you haven't already guessed, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't even really looked at any of this footage, so I've just sort of got the camera, charged it, whacked an SD card in and uh, I chose 60 frames per second at 1080 with no super view because my uh, session only does uh, 60 frames no super view otherwise I've got to jump down to 48 frames and the, uh, the Legend 3 currently only has super view at 60 regardless of NTSC or power settings so there's a little bit of a bug there so uh, I chose that's why I've chose the frame rates and the resolutions just to better get a fair comparison all settings are the same uh, well you know I all settings for like white balance um, ISO everything's on auto so I, I'm giving it on the merits of the camera's programming uh, I'll later on I'll, I'll play around with some hard-coded um, white balance and uh, ISO settings and, and see how they perform. But let's keep on flying. <laughs> so there you have it. The uh, session down bottom, Legend 3 up top, and uh, cut to some Legend 3 footage. Yep, I'm pretty impressed. For you know, from going from the from the two to the three, they've definitely aced it up a lot. There's a little bit of um, the the exposure clamping, I suppose you call it. It's still off a little bit, but there's a lot of potential for the hardware that's in this camera. Um, it potent, you know, potential, potential, potential. We've just got to get there with software, and that is what 
is going on now, uh, fixing all the bugs, glitches, and trying to make it as good as it can before it hits the shelves. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little preview. And, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's about all I've got to say for the camera, really. Um, and until she hits production and, and whatnot, you know, I think it suffices. There's uh, a couple of little things, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm happy with the lens. I think it could be a little wider. Uh, you know, there's there's a few little things that need to be resolved, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, it, if this is any sign of what, of what the uh, the box is going to be like, then then I'm excited. I really am. Like, we can do, we really do some cool shit. So I think that about wraps things up. I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys.